mean, that's the first good look I've had at that nose. It's obvious that a, a big chunk of that nose is, is missing. My concern is that the tip of her nose has developed a skin cancer. So if we had left this, she would probably have died. Yeah. Despite it looking like everything moves pretty slowly around here, things happen. It's Chris's second week volunteering with the busy Estahani Foundation in the Cook Islands. They've had a lady call in from an outer island, Atataki, which is about 300 kilometres away, with a cat that has part of its nose missing. She's already on her way in now. Emergency arrivals like this are not unusual for Cook Island pet owners. And Chris is currently one of just a handful of vets on call. It's a bit of a new situation to be waiting for an animal to arrive, but it's an important one. You're right there. You're Poppy, right? Hello. How, how are, are you? you? Hey, oh, lovely to meet you. Thank you. The small one? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's nasty. My first impressions looking into the cage there and seeing small one's nose are that, look, it could be a lot of things. It could be an open wound from a fight, it could be a nasty infection, it could be a virus, or, worst case scenario, it could be cancer. We'll get to the clinic as quickly as we can. So small one is really important to us, and we are really concerned about the sore on her nose. That's why I've just flown in. She's got the opportunity today to see Chris, so hopefully we'll have a good outcome to this long journey and the long day ahead. OK, come through here. Thank you. Thank you for seeing her. We really appreciate it. All right. There we go. Yeah, wow. So, I mean, that's the first good look I've had at that nose. It's obvious that a, a big chunk of that nose is, is missing. So how long has that all been happening for? So probably four weeks ago she had a cold yep. and then her nose ran and she constantly licked. And because her, no her tongue is like sandpaper, mm. she licked a divot under between her lip and her nose. Yep. And it's just got steadily worse. For the last four days, okay. it started to bleed. I guess the sign of that blood probably yeah, made you very... more worried. Yeah, that's just saying it's time to do something. Yeah. yeah. Small one has lost a massive amount of her nose and it's happened quickly. So obviously, that's of huge concern. What we're dealing with here is clearly very serious. If her temperature's normal, then we, we start to get to the stage where we can start to rule out a virus. Yeah. A bit over 38, at 38.1, 38.2 now. OK, so that's normal. Yeah. So a lot of the viruses we worried about that can cause erosions around the face of cats, they usually cause ulcers on the tongue or, or, or serious irritations and, and really red inflammation around the mouth. OK, let's have a look in here. So this is obviously the problem area. That's okay. Okay. Her gum colour's nice and pink, so she's got some good circulation happening. That's good. Okay. Despite her having a big problem around her nose, the inside of her mouth is actually looking pretty good. There's no doubting how much Poppy cares for small one. She's just flown over an hour just to have her seen by a vet. My concern is, though, how she's going to handle the news if it's not good. Look at that, and she's lost about a centimetre of her nose there. Losing that much of your nose, it's certainly not normal. What I guess has worried me ever since I first saw her is that she actually may have something a little nastier there. I'm upset, yeah, because I had hoped that it would be a virus. But I, and I think because it's happened so quickly, I, it's hard to comprehend that it's a huge thing. It's a lot to take in at the moment. I can certainly sense some urgency from you, and the reason there's some urgency coming back from me is because there's not a lot more of her nose that she can afford to lose. Yeah, we're more than worried. Mm. Yeah. In the Cook Islands, Poppy is desperate for help for her much-loved cat, Small One. My concern is that the tip of her nose in the last month or so has developed a skin cancer. The problem with the types of skin cancers that cats get, they're not melanomas. They're not going to spread around the rest of the body like a melanoma can. But what the skin cancers they get actually do is they start to eat away at the area that they're growing in. And cats get something called squamous cell carcinomas. When you look at small one, unfortunately for her, her nose doesn't have any pigment. It's not black, it's white. 
and with that white colour means there's no protection against the sun. So if we had left this, she would probably have died. Yeah. So that, that shortly. Can, yeah, that cancer will eat into her face. Okay. And and we'll continue to do so until yeah. it's just too much for her. So it probably feels like we've let her down a little bit. No, you haven't. Um, You've just flown no, an know. hour from another island. Yeah. To come to a vet to help her out. And her best chance of, of having a life after today is in acting right now. All right. I know that's a lot to take on. Usually working out a solution as to how you're going to remove this kind of cancer takes weeks or even months. Right now, I've got hours. We don't have the luxury of taking a, a biopsy and sending off to a lab and, and waiting for the test results. We've got one day to fix her. Yeah. And that day has to be today. Don't want to muck about. Okay. I want to actually take her into surgery right now. If that's okay with you. Yeah. We would really, I mean, obviously we really love her. Yeah. I can't really go in without her. Well, let's make sure that doesn't happen, yeah, huh? please. Yeah. I'm looking at Poppy and the love that she clearly has for a cat. She's heartbroken right now, but what she's hanging out for is some hope. I'm hoping I can give it to her. Oh, ouchie. Yeah. It doesn't look very nice, does it? No, it doesn't. Hopefully, today ends all that. At the Esther Honey Foundation in the Cook Islands, the procedure to remove the aggressive skin cancer eating into small one's face is about to begin. It's OK. I'm just trying to remove some dead cells from the surface, and already you can see the problem with this nose is that the blood supply is so great that we're getting a lot of blood coming out straight away. The fact is, if I was back in Australia, I'd use radiation therapy to treat this kind of cancer. Now, I cannot import that technology into the Cook Islands to use it on small one. It's just not possible. So we have to go with the next available option. All right, if she's stable, I might start freezing now. Faced with limited resources, Chris decides to use human medication to try to kill the cancer cells. So we're just going to do about 30 second applications there. Okay. He's using a wart removal treatment containing liquid nitrogen. Oh, wow. It's working well. Yeah. yeah. The whole idea here is to use multiple cycles of freezing, thawing, freezing, thawing, and that way the problem cells, they defrost, they expand when they're frozen, and hopefully then they pop. Then you let them defrost, then freeze them again. That process should actually kill them. That's 30. Using a wart removal treatment seems like a crazy idea, but you've got to remember, warts are essentially benign growths. So the same principle applies. You have to penetrate through the outer tissue, get to where that whole tumour is coming from, and kill off those cells. So we can see that we're getting a nice line of frozen tissue coming away from where I'm applying this, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Five more seconds. Okay. Probably being a little bit more aggressive than I normally would be, but the way I see it is this may be the only treatment that small one gets. That's 30. It's an anxious wait for small one's owner, Poppy. Nervous. Uh, I suppose it's probably all I can think. It's just apprehensive, hopeful. Just gonna do one more. Okay, all right, we're done. The hope is that over the next few days we get a scab forming, it'll then drop off, and underneath that should be healthy tissue. You're just waking up, aren't you? There we go, big yawn. Oh, it's gone well. Is it? Yeah, it has. Okay. <laughs> you can relax. Right. Yeah, so yep. um, we've managed to freeze those sections of the nose three times. Wow. Um, so we gave it a really good go. Okay, and she's just waking up now and right. she seems pretty happy there. Some people might say it's just a cat, but it's still part of your family. Definitely wanted to make sure that we've done everything we can to give her the best opportunity, and I think we've done that. Yeah, you're great. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah, I really appreciate it.
When it comes to commitment, Poppy is right up there because her love and devotion towards small one just cannot be questioned. This cat clearly means the world to her. Okay, the wait is over. Here she is. So she's had a good chance to rest. Hello. He's still a little bit drowsy, but... In the Cook Islands, it's been two hours since Small One's unconventional procedure to remove the aggressive skin cancer attacking her face. Small One. Oh, hello. Straight back to you. <laughs> Did you miss me? Oh, Let well. me see. Hello. Let me see. Oh, that looks excellent. Look at you. Yeah, so okay. it's just going to dry out a little bit. And wow. she may get a little scab forming there. No. But. Yes, I'm here. I know. It's <laughs> OK. Look good. Seeing Papa's reaction to having small one back by her side, you'd think they'd been separated for days, not hours. But it just shows you, no matter the language, no matter the country, no matter the destination, that commitment and that love for pets is just the same. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. There we go. Come on, small one. That's all right. There all right. we go. Time to go home. I'll take you to the airport. Excellent. You ready to fly now? Go back to the island? I feel like we've achieved something today. And I just want to get her home so we can get life back to normal for her and for me. <laughs> it's been great. Really pleased. She's going to become a frequent flyer. I think so too. She gets some air miles. <laughs> yeah. There's no way of knowing exactly how much time we've managed to buy small one through doing this procedure. But the fact is, without it, she was seriously on borrowed time. You can never accuse Poppy of not moving heaven and earth to do everything she can for her small one. So the two of them, they deserve so many more happy years together. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you so much to everybody, eh? Okay. All right. I'll be checking in, okay? Make sure you do it. You just give me a reason to visit Hatutaki yeah, for a holiday. I might have to do that again. <laughs> a working holiday. Yeah. All right. All right, safe flight. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.